Hello everybody, um, I would like to give a tutorial on how to solve the error connecting to the database. Um, this is the error that I, I was getting and I was able to fix it. Hopefully you can fix it as well. So this is the error that I was getting. Error establishing a database connection. So um, <clears throat> this uh, tutorial is particularly for those <clears throat> people who are uh, they're, they're trying to install WordPress on their local host in their Mac computer. So at this point, you should have um, you should have MAMP installed. I have MAMP installed as well. Um, and you also have the WordPress files installed as well. So I created a folder for the WordPress files that I downloaded from WordPress and put them on the HD docs and named the folder WordPress and pasted all the files here. So um, I also created a database um, and the problem, <clears throat> the problem I had was, was when I tried to use my own privileges. I think uh, when you're starting out, you're not supposed to use your own privileges. You're supposed to uh, use the default privileges that uh, that the the database is already set on. So I'm going to use this new database. Uh, this new database. That's the name of the database. New database. And if you haven't, you should just create one, you know, just go to new, come here, new, and then create the database, just write the name and create. So that's all you need to do. The next thing you need to do is to edit, um, <coughs> this, uh, on HT Docs in the MAMP for a MAMP uh, application files, go to HT Docs and whatever you named the folder in which you put the the WordPress files into, the ones you downloaded, you need to go there and um, you need to open this file here, WP Config Sample. That's what we need to uh, access. So. I opened it using uh, NetBeans. It allows you to edit uh, uh, files, programming files, or PHP files. And in my case, or you could you could also use Notepad, Notepad, or any other editor to um, edit uh, the file. So then the other important thing, other than um, creating the database and not and just just creating a database. The other thing you need to do is uh, re uh, edit this file, like uh, the contents of this file. You need to change them to the. Uh, for in my case, uh, my database is a new database. So instead of the uh, your database name here, I'm going to use the new database name. And these are the uh, these are the default values for accessing the database when you're a new um, when you when you first trying to, when you first trying to connect to the MySQL server. So you're supposed to change it to root, and the password as well. You should change it to root. Sorry for the, the, the delay uh, in the in the video, but yeah, the the pass the username and password should be root, and the database should be your name, the database you created, and then just save the file.
once you save the file you should go to uh, your browser and just delete this or yeah uh, one more thing you need to rename this file instead of one WP config sample it should just be it should just be a WP config so uh, that's done and now we can go to the browser so in the browser we we are going to uh, we're going to try and connect to the server so this is localhost triple eight and that's the server that's the Apache server which will connect to the database and uh, that's if you look at the preferences here you you'll see the ports also uh, point that way so triple eight to the server and from there on everything should work well So we're going to choose English, continue, and now we we have solved the problem. So right now they're just giving us they just um right now the information here is just uh information for your wordpress uh, website that you've just downloaded so it's uh, it's going to be a default theme and everything but uh once you get to this point you've bypassed the the, the problem so the issue was uh, since you're doing it locally you needed uh to change the folder to change the, uh, the contents in the uh, in the files on the WP um, config sample and rename the file this file is located in in, in, in the the files you downloaded the the folder you downloaded from I think it's a zip so yeah but once you get to that point, you've solved the problem, you know, you just give your site the identity you want to give it, you know. But once you get to that point, everything should be solved. Well, thank you for watching. Please like the video if it helped. And have a good day. Bye-bye.